Hello and welcome back to another glamour video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni. I was just blowing things to pieces on my more recently leveled Dark Knight up to level 80, so let's take you inside the studio and look at this set that I put together. This is the Warrior of Dark Light, that's my cringy name that I came up with today for this one. As you can see, it's quite the glowy looking set. I wanted to make something to complement the tanking Eureka chest and look a little less armoured, eventually deciding on this sort of demon-like setup, which would probably look really great on a female aura, maybe a Zayla with really dark skin tones. It would look pretty badass there. Mioni is pale as the Northern Star here, so perhaps it doesn't have the same effect, but I really like this set in general. For the pieces then, I chose the Archeo Demon Horns for the helm. These were a last minute change. I had originally gone for a more traditional helm idea, but it looked too bulky and I wanted to continue the look that I went with towards the bottom of this glamour. You can get the Archeo Demon Horns from the Forbidden Land of Eureka Pyros from Silver Bunny Chess and they drop very rarely. Sometimes you just get logograms. Um, which is, is quite annoying. You can also buy them from a market board though from other players, but the prices will differ depending on how many people are actually doing Eureka. For the chest then, continuing the Eureka theme, I'm wearing the Elemental Armor Offending Plus One. This is the glowy part of Eureka armor that you can get in Eureka High Dartos for tanks in exchange for the Elemental Armor itself and 50 High Dartos Crystals. It's one of the best looking chests in the game for a tank in my opinion. I dyed this sup black dye to match the other elements of the set and it really is a showstopper. For the gloves, I went with the Fairy Tale Princesses gloves from the Fairy Tale Princesses attire on Vermog Station. These are only equipable by female characters, sadly, so alternatively, you could use the Peacock gloves as well from the Peacock attire, or even the Angelic gloves would look great with a, a black dye. Uh, from the angel attire those would look really good and of course these gloves that i went with are jet black dyed for the legs i chose the number two type b leggings these are from the copied factory alliance raid from the glamour crate that you can roll for at the end they are frankly incredible we've done a video on these individually before but they actually increase the size of your character's buttocks and thighs when you equip them I wanted to go for a bit of a demonic, almost succubus look, so having a bit of extra skin showing with the black pants here matches the Archeo Demon horns quite well. These are dyed soot black. I really love how the chest piece sort of ends here, and those small metal chains dangle across the extended thighs of the character with these, le with these particular leggings. It's such a cool combination. For the boots then, I went with the Angelic Fire Boots, these are dyed soot black. These are from the Angel Attire on the Mog Station Cash Shop, but generally any Fire Boots will look great, there's a lot in the game you can get without having to go to the Mog Station. I just wanted that extra bit of gold detail on the leg that these boots provide over many other alternatives. Lastly then, the weapon choice. So in some of these scenes you've seen me use my Paladin weapon, the Antea Eureka weapon and the Divine Beast Shield which is from the Gold Sorcerer and that's the Invisible Shield. This was to show that the armor set can look great on many other tanks and would probably be the direction I would go for if I chose this for my Paladin. For Dark Knight however the best looking match for this would be the Edge of the Goddess. This is the Sophia Crafted Dark Knight weapon. I love this Dark Knight weapon. It's everything that I want. It's massive, it's gold, it has black on it as well. It has a really good glow effect when drawn, what's not to love. If we go to the dark areas outside of my studio, you can see how good this looks together. Of course, there is actually a way we can idle around looking even cooler in towns. If you remember my always glowing video, you'll know that there's a macro that exists that allows you to put uh, glow on even when your weapon is put away. So make sure your weapon's put away on your back in this case and do forward slash BM forward slash sit. This has to be in a macro, so just put forward slash BM forward slash sit on two separate lines, drag that to somewhere and click it, and you will actually now be able to enable the glow onto your back. It will put you in a seated, uh, seated position. You just get back up from that and hey presto, you have, um, you know, this active uh, this includes the ability to go on mounts as well so you it, it persists until you draw your weapon again 
and then it will just reset the glow. Um, this is really, really cool. We featured it in a previous video, but it really does benefit this glamour set in particular because the glow of the weapon actually is a very similar glow um, or co complementing colour to that of the robe itself. So I was quite chuffed with that choice in particular. And half of the time, you know, you'll be seeing yourself in combat. So it does actually show quite often. But there we go, my Warrior of Dark Light set. Something I will be personally using on my Dark Knight for a while. Now it's level 80. I wanted something that looked really cool and obviously very edgy. And I think then this is quite the epitome of an edgelord. Thank you kindly for watching this video. Let me know what you thought of this set below. And I'll see you all next time.